given time, I think the ecological problem is going to, almost in a sense, either compel people to make very fundamental changes, particularly such startling phenomena as the greenhouse effect and the diminution of the ozone layer. These are cosmic events for life on this planet, not just human beings, but very significantly human beings. The only alternative that I see, if this, the approach of social ecology and eco-anarchism is not adopted, the only approach that I can see, given our maddening commitment, and I shouldn't say our, going, given the commitment of the multinational corporations to growth, 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 as a means of survival against competitors, chewing up the whole planet in the process of doing so, will either be the destruction of our species, or we will have to establish a terribly authoritarian society. People will live, I can envision, and I will not be around to see it, but it's by no means inconceivable, and they will live under huge domes, surrounded by what is virtually a desert, almost as though they live in a radioactive area, <laughs> surrounded by a desert. And we will then have to have a command economy and a command society based on coercion, deciding how many children a uh, population should produce, uh, what food and how much food they should consume. In short, placing a military discipline on people and thereby creating what amounts to ecological fascism. That's what I fear is the third alternative to either our destruction or the alternative offered by social ecology and eco-anarchism to a truly creative human experience in which finally we fulfill our evolutionary potential.